The historic downtown chemo theater was almost torn down decades ago. Tonight, the city is trying to find the activists who saved it. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live in front of the chemo on Central with the one major clue that was left behind. Rachel. Hey, Dean, this photograph was, this is a copy of a photograph taken in 1977. It was just taken outside of the chemo after the citizens voted for the city to buy the theater. But they're wondering, who are these people? I love chemo. I used to come here a lot. Back in the day, I was always here. Albuquerque locals are quite familiar with the Grand Theater. The chemo was built in 1927 and privately owned for the next 50 years. It still is a very viable part of downtown and there are a lot of people for whom their, their first theater going experience may have been in this very building. In the 70s, a fire destroyed most of the theater while there was also a mass exodus of people leaving downtown to live elsewhere. The chemo was going to be torn down, but the people of Albuquerque spoke out and voted for the city to buy the theater in 1977. A photograph was taken to celebrate the victory. And this is the photograph. The city says it features this photo often to show what the theater's facade looked like in the 70s. But recently it got to wondering, who are these people? We have this wonderful photograph from 1977. Uh, five individuals are standing in front of the chemo theater saying, thank you Albuquerque for saving the chemo theater. And we're just curious if anybody can help us identify who these great five people are. And here's why the city says these five could be an important part of history. These were part of the volunteers uh, that worked on the campaign to convince the taxpayers to buy the chemo. I just think it's important to say 41 years later, we really appreciate all their hard work. The city posted on social media asking for the community's help. I think that'd be awesome. They can find the people that, that you know, have seen that and have history on that. Let's say you do find those people. What next? Thank them. Well, the image was posted last night on Facebook, but so far, no one has come forward. Dean. All right, Rachel, thank you. The Chemo Theater still hosts a variety of performances, as you know, like concerts, ballets, as well as plays. Now, if you want a closer look at that photo, just visit alwaysonkrqe.com.